Hej, cześć, siemano wam wszystkim ludzie z tej strony Jack, witam się z bardzo serdecznie w kolejnym odcinku, zagrajmy w Metal Gear Solid Rising Revengeance. Kontynuujemy uprzednio przerwaną historię Raidena, no i na start spróbujmy skontaktować się z naszymi ziomeczkami, bo jestem ciekaw, czy mają coś do powiedzenia. Control, it's Raiden. I'm on the ground. Copy, Raiden. Glad to hear it. Entering on foot was the right move. That craft isn't equipped with stealth camo. Or octo camo, obviously, since that would be useless in midair. And we wouldn't want to get your pricey new jet damage, now would we? Duh. The MQ-133C was not cheap, Tovarich. <laughs> now, keep alert. According to Intel, you could find significant cyborg deployment here. If you were to be cornered by an entire squad, it might get... difficult, even for you. Understood. Some fighting will be necessary, though. I've got electrolytes to replenish. Hmm. This is not an infiltration mission. There is no need to hide or avoid combat outright, huh? Just... do not get reckless. Stay safe, and stay focused on your mission. Okay. There is always a chance the MQ was spotted before your drop-off. I would not be surprised if hostile cyborgs were already en route to your position. A little welcoming party wouldn't be so bad. I could use a warm-up. Enough with the attitude, Raiden. It's time to be serious. Uh, this is no game. I need you to focus. Many people are counting on you, and I don't just mean here at Maverick. You don't need to remind me of that. Good. The last thing we need is another clever cowboy shipped back to us in pieces. On Codec is fine. Just be sure you are serious on the battlefield. Your enemies will be. Yes, sir. Riders, we are clear on the rules of engagement, yes? Clear enough. I can use deadly force against any hostile elements. Hostile cyborgs, I can strike first. Basically, yes. The actual rules of engagement is more specific. A long list of no's. But you have the idea. You want to recap the highlights for me? <sighs> no weapons prohibited by international treaty. No use of force against non-combatants. Especially officials or anyone with political power who may be needed for negotiations. No use of force against any unarmed hostile seeking to surrender. And no use of force against any non-cyborg combatants without prior verbal warning. And that includes Dolzaev? Duh, but this should not be a problem. Any non-cyborg is little threat to you, Dolzaev included. Besides, we have no signs of any non-cyborg hostiles anywhere in the area. Not even one. We think Dolsaev is working alone with Desperado here. In any case, there is the ROE. Otherwise, deadly force is authorized only in clear case of self-defense. So basically, civilians off-limits, human hostiles verbal warning, hostile cyborgs, anything goes. Yes, this is a conventional warfare scenario, so the rules are based on the Hague Convention. Yeah, sounds pretty standard. Still good to list out all the no-nos before things get too hairy. ROEs that only specify who you can engage require too much judgment. They make it harder to remain focused on battle. Duh. This is why most military's ROEs list negatives, not positives. The few that take the other approach? I pity their soldiers the questions they face. Oh, and for our purposes, UGs are considered the same as hostile cyborgs. Copy that. We have no rules about property damage, but uh, keep it minimal, yes? It just makes us look bad. Anything standing in your way, trees, streetlights, this is fine. But there's no reason to damage civilian homes, or to go snooping around in them. Goes without saying. Okay. Coś jeszcze powiesz? You're familiar with your new body now, yes? Then let's begin the warm-up. Slice at something. A palm tree, perhaps. You're familiar with your new body now, then let's be slice. Dobra. Jeszcze się, pow już się powtarza. Ale zostały nam jeszcze trzy, trzy rozmowy, także Kevin, twoja kolej. Looks like a war zone out here. The palace cleared out quick when Dolzaev's men showed up. The streets got pretty hot after that. We're definitely gonna see a few civilian casualties here. Luckily, it looks like most of them got out of the city before things got bad. They've basically got control of the entire town and are using the refinery as their HQ. And that's why we're hitting the plant. Keep in mind. Those cyborgs are contractors. For most of these guys, this is just a job. In theory, once you eliminate their commanding officer, they should scatter pretty quickly. 
Cap, let's go over everything we have on Desperado. Roger that. Let's see here. Desperado Enforcement LLC. Registered in the U.S., Delaware. Makes sense. The U.S. doesn't regulate PMCs too closely. Looks like almost all of their actual business is handled outside the states, though. It says here their financials are handled by a separate company based in St. Kitts and Nevis. The preferred tax haven of megacorps everywhere. Probably why they incorporated in Delaware in the first place. Loose tax laws. Funneling it all through the Caribbean must help with the money laundering, though. There's still a lot we don't know about them. But they've definitely been starting a lot of fires lately. They're a PMC in name only. <laughs> what a name it is. Guess War Profiteers Incorporated was taken. But that's their business. In a nutshell, target war-torn nations on the road to peace. Reignite conflicts and walk off with all the cash that was earmarked for reconstruction. They also have ties to the drug trade, human trafficking. Sounds like a real class act. Zajebiste po prostu sposoby na nudne wieczory, co? Tutaj pochodzimy narkotykami, tutaj ludźmi. A tego żoneczka tam, to co? A tego zabijemy. O dobra, już mamy takie fajne ostrze nożycowe. Gruby mi pożyczył. We've confirmed three key captains in Desperado. Their code names are all wind themed. The captain presiding over this coup is called Mistral. Cyborg? Yep. All three have got custom made bodies. Collectively, they're known as the Winds of Destruction. <laughs> the what? They all have action figures too? <laughs> You're one to talk, Mr. Lightning Bolt. Who, who told you? <laughs> Courtney. Now that sounds like an action figure. I didn't choose it, trust me. Yeah, well, to be honest, I doubt the Winds of Destruction picked their names either. <sighs> Different cultures use language differently. Even ones with a decent command of English. As you can attest, Mr. LB. <laughs> Looks like a war zone out here. The palace cleared out. Luckily, they've basically got control. And that's keep in mind. Those cyborgs are contracting. Okay, no tak na tego dwie gadki. Tak wie. To teraz Courtney. How we doing, Courtney? You're looking good on our end. GPS and audio visual feed coming in fine. Energy consumption, check. Damage levels, check. Blood pressure, brain waves, blood sugar, check, check, check. All this monitoring equipment, I got a better view than if I was standing right next to you. Anyway, I'll be saving all your data automatically anytime something important happens in the field. But contact me anytime you want a manual save. Copy that. Good to hear that hasn't changed with this new body. Yep, the basic system's exactly the same. So, did you want to save? Okay, Chili. And save complete. Simple, huh? Copy. And glad to hear you're okay after Africa. That ambush was no joke. <laughs> Tell me about it. Three armored vehicles should have been plenty for that job. And it would have been against any typical guerrilla force. I keep asking myself, where would an anti money faction get the cash to hire cyborgs? It just doesn't add up. Maybe there's some intel I missed. A lead I should have followed up on. Maybe if I reacted faster or coordinated better. I don't know. You can't think that way, Courtney. Not in this business. You did everything you could. Put it behind you and move on. <sighs> You're right. Thanks. Uh, Raiden dobrze gada. W takim biznesie nie można mieć wątpliwości. Zrobiłeś ile się dało? Kropka. A jak coś się zadziała, czego nie przewidziałeś? A radzi sobie na bieżąco. Eee, czyli tak, do niej mogę kiedy chcę, ale patrzcie jak to jest fajnie zapisane, bo ona monitoruje jakby nasz stan ciała. A to jest pisane, podpisane po tym, że ja mogę po prostu sobie zapisać grę. Okej, okay, czy z nią była jedna rozmowa? No? What's up? I wanted to follow up on our talk earlier about the stress that comes with the job. PMC work can be traumatic, even for non-combatants. If the pressure ever gets to be too much, have one of the ex-military there take over. Just... I'm not doing that, Raiden. PMCs wield massive influence over international affairs. Abolishing SOP didn't change that. 
They need a better understanding of what they're mixed up in. The laws, politics, local cultures. Ex-military aren't here to provide that. They can't. We need civilian voices like mine here, too. You're right. Just take care of yourself. <laughs> Don't worry. Africa was more than enough excitement for one lifetime. It's a good thing that limo was armored. <laughs> yeah. Otherwise, you'd now be the world's clumsiest cyborg. Hey! Cyborg Courtney could have been your partner. I'm about to save your ass. How? By spilling coffee all over the enemy? <laughs> Please tell me that was a joke. <laughs> no, chyba nie. What's up? No? Did you need anything else? No, guess not. Just wanted to hear the sound of your voice. Oh, save it for your wife, Raiden. I can just skip it. Sorry, that's just silly. I'm not going to point out that we're going to ale okej, okay, czyli z Borysem były trzy gadki, a teraz z nimi po dwie, czyli z doktorki pewnie też będą dwie. Raidus, shall we review the capabilities of your new body? Copy that. Go ahead, Doc. As we discussed, you've been outfitted with two revolutionary new abilities. Fuel electrolyte absorption and self-repair from seized nanopaste. Precisely. First, electrolyte absorption. This is simplicity itself. As your HF blade is linked directly to your fuel cells, simply cut into any source of electrolytes. Say, a hostile cyborg made up of CNT muscle fiber. And your fuel cells will recharge on their own. Rather elegant, wouldn't you say? I would indeed. It's been great so far. But ah, the repair process is a bit more involved. A bit more messy, you might say. Most military cyborg models store a cache of biotic self-repair nanopaste in their lower abdomen. So I need to slice them open and use Zandatsu to extract it. Cut and take, in other words. Correct. Once extracted, you need only to crush this unit in your hand to absorb the repairing agent inside. Keep in mind, it is extremely delicate. If the unit should hit the ground, some paste will surely leak out. It will still repair your body, but less so than if you can retrieve it directly before your foe falls over. Basically, harvest their organs before their body can even hit the ground. Rather gruesome, I realize. But then you Americans enjoy a bit of gore, don't you? I may be a citizen, but I've never really thought of myself as American. Oh? Hmm. Well, yes, I suppose I could understand that given your history. But what then? Surely you don't identify as a Liberian. I don't identify with anyone. No nation. No ethnic group. I'm my own man. Anyway, I seem to recall those gory torture porn movies were pretty popular in Germany, too. Indeed, indeed. These splatter films are big in Germany, Russia, Japan, everywhere. Well, everywhere except regions afflicted by actual warfare. It all has to do with taming our fears, you know? Huh? The desire to feel fear to taste death, but from a safe distance. These films allow the viewer to delude themselves into thinking they have overcome their fears. This... Okay, uh, okay, Doc. I, I got the gist. Let's save the full psych lecture for some other time, though, huh? Ciekawy temat. Dobra, i czy to będzie ostatnia rozmowa? So these self-repair units in the other cyborgs, they mean they can heal themselves at any time? Indeed. It is typically a slow process, not much faster than a regular human body heals a wound. And you didn't think it was a good idea to give me one of these things? Certainly not. We removed all extraneous options in your case to maximize power and speed, you know. Healing wounds is extraneous? Your ability to absorb the nanopaste agent is far more efficient, Raiden. With it, your wounds heal almost instantly. I know, but... And a standard repair unit, once depleted, is nothing but an empty shell inside you. Dead weight! I get that, Doc, but it also means I need to constantly be grabbing them out of enemies. No, it doesn't. Don't be silly. Simply avoid taking damage and you will be fine. <laughs> yeah, simple. <laughs> How is your eye, Raiden? Great. My sight's perfectly balanced between both eyes. I think my vision's improved, actually. Quite right, quite right. Your eye patch houses an artificial compound eye unit. 
The unit contains over 200 million solid state image sensors, each with its own individual lens. 200 megapixels, huh? Doesn't sound like all that much. More than sufficient for the application. A human's optic nerve has only about a million fibers, you know. Were we to add more sensors, your perceived vision would not improve. There's only so much modern image compression technology can do. Huh. So I shouldn't expect any more dramatic improvements to my eyesight? No, your brain would no longer be able to process any more visual information in real time. Still, compared to previous ACEs, yours has 1.4 times the resolution and a superior compression algorithm. It may only result in a slight perceived change, but it could wind up making the difference during a mission. Regrettably, I have not had enough time to develop a new eyeball unit just yet. Thus, I have cut out the ability to deploy the ACE unit separately and simply installed it on a fixed eye patch. Works for me. If I was using an eye unit, I wouldn't see any better than a regular human. Ah, but remember, the human eye is so much more than a simple light receptor. They play a vital role in person-to-person -person communication. Sooner or later, you'd miss it. Stuff like that's important for some tasks, sure. For this op, not so much. And with less moving parts, the lower the chance of something going wrong. <laughs> Besides, I like it. Well, I'm very pleased to hear this. I can worry about how I look after I complete the mission. Stay vigilant, Raiden. Dobra, skończyło się. Na szczęście. Okay. Uh, wykupiłem sobie praktycznie wszystko, co byłem w stanie. Tak więc... Jestem mocno, myślę, spachowany. Jeśli chodzi o różnicę między tym, jak to... Wygląda, proszę, proszę. wygląda, proszę. Między faktycznym początkiem gry, a jaki mam aktualnie. No nie, chyba coś się spieszyło. Dobra, czekaj, czemu, czemu nie schodzi mi niebieski pasek, ale schodzi mi HP? Nie rozumiem teraz tego. Nie ma nic nie złączonego dodatkowego. Had your film? With this body, I could take these guys with no eyes. Intel wasn't exaggerating on the cyborg count. Well, you know how fast the tech's been spreading these last few years. That CNT muscle fiber packs the power of a jackhammer into every limb. What enterprising soldier of fortune could resist? And cyborgs are still human. Real thinking people. Way less risk of collateral damage than your typical UAV strike. And don't forget the PR angle. Nations start playing Frankenstein with their troops, and the public goes nuts. PMCs, on the other hand, are off the ethical radar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they still don't even count PMCs in official death tolls. With SOP out of the picture, private militaries needed a new edge on the market. We got it. In a way, cyborgs are just SOP troops by another name. Only all muscled up and less predictable. But it makes you wonder, where'd Desperado find these guys? I'm not complaining. They're like walking vending machines. Right. Vending machines full of blood. <sighs> Easy there, Dracula. Like I said, they're still people. People who terrorize and take innocent lives for money. They sowed their fate when they took this job. I'm just the Reaper. Damn, it's a bit cold, Raiden. Even for you. Anyway, uh, his school. Let's get to work. Time to increase the peace. Right. 
Ciężko się z Raiderem nie zgodzić. Guess. To jest tam. O. A, Battle Points. Ok, na bardzo który jest następny. Spoko. Dobra, czy tutaj bym mógł być jakieś znajdźki? Jeśli tak, to żadnych nie widzę, więc idziemy dalej. Raider, this is Boris. Give me your status. Looks clear. No one in sight. Good. Let's recap the route you will take. As I said, the enemy's HQ is in the refinery along the coastline. Dolsayev has been spotted there using satellite photography. Also on site, Mistral, a desperado captain. So I go through the city, cross the bridge into the old town, then head down to the rear of the refinery. Still, I think they anticipate us. They will probably have a grand reception awaiting you at the old city. Do not let your guard down. Nie zamierzam. Dobra, tu mamy skrzynkę. Co byś popisał? Ok, wystarczy sobie pocięcie. No i mamy naszą menopastę naprawczą. Którą, jak stwierdził e, doktorek, nie zamontował nam, gdyż jest według niego totalnie zbędna. No, a znaczy może inaczej. W sensie nie, nie zainstalował nam pojemnika, który ma w sobie te, takie, takie nanopasty, bo stwierdził, że jest to e, bezużyteczne, albo raczej, że jest to mało e, użyteczne, bo jeżeli... Hostels in the lower corridor, I see. Try to flank them, or approach from behind. Dobra, najpierw chcę zrobić to. Chcę zgarnąć to tutaj. Ja mam nanopasty, spoko. Excellent rider. Okay, very nice rider. All right, get me. Yes, the test is coming. Perysta, jaki mały kawałki tutaj muszę mieć. Dobra, na razie to będzie tyle, ale kurde, sporo tego było. Czyli co? Okej, okay, tu mamy wroga. Tam. Nie muszę się skradać. Raiden, take that main thoroughfare. You can use augment mode to see where the enemy is located. Your body analyzes radar and IR data to construct your AR display. Huh. Some civilians are still in the city. That is not good. Fine. Okay, czyli wą włączamy sobie taki tryb detektywa, powiedzmy. Tylko nie mogę się ruszać, żeby to było aktywne. Tam jest skrzynka, tam jest pusto, tu jest dwóch typa, tam jest jeden i tam jest jeden. Spróbujmy go zajść. Postaram się być tak cicho, jak tylko się da. Granaci. Czekaj, czy ja mogę wyrwać z nich te... To są nie świetnie. Było, przepraszam bardzo. Ej, ale to wygląda słagersko, jak on tak rozwala. Ale kurde, czemu mi tak się goś nagle obrócił po prostu? Co nie rozumiem. No nie, no idziemy po tych dwóch jeszcze. Dziękuję.
kurde, ja rozwaliłem to na, rozwaliłem to na kawałki. Przez przypadek. Tam coś jest, widzę. Z tego nic nie padło, a to jest tutaj schowane. Kolejny granat, spoko. Jakbym jeszcze wiedział tego, jak ich używać. O! Ok. Eee, nanopasta, niech będzie. 3 z 5 granatów, ok. No i bronię mam póki co tylko jedną. Jakiś trup. Aha, ale nic nadal nic nie zrobię. Bo pobiegniemy w, ten, w tą stronę. Mam jeszcze więcej ludzi. Maszynka! No to mi się tutaj nie udało. Jezu! Chciałem unik zrobić, tylko zapomniałem, że to się tutaj inaczej unika. Jezu, jak to się unik robi? To jest fajnie, że się Naprawdę, potrzebowałem. Dobrze. Sweet. I ciąga zanim to coś spadnie na ziemię. Zajebisz, na prawo. No. Dzięki. Dzień. Co? Jak to mogło pójść o wiele lepiej? O. Nie? Tam też. A mogę go ciąć, dobra. O to cyk po główce. Ok, czyli chyba jeden ten, jedno to zandacu nie leczy do full HP. Przeważył, nie? No fuck you! Kurde, się tu zwali specjalnie właśnie z góry! No? Jezu, ja to serio muszę jeszcze... Nie, no nie wierzę. Jak ci dam? O, zajebiście, naprawdę. No, gdzie? Jaki premia tego właśnie nie mogę teraz podziąć? Reklamacja! Dziękuję. Z 
Mogę to oznaczyć, proszę? Dobrze! Dobrze, 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 dobrze! dobrze. Bo panie kocie, to co chciałem zrobić, nie? Dzięki, no Ej, nie, serio, jakie ty ma robić uniki? A bo inaczej, ja mam oznaczyć sobie to coś. No, nie wierzę. Tędy, no to idziemy. Ja pitole, prawie to miałem! Oj, właśnie walę w popil, co? W popil trasowy. Flight and wait. We're picking up a wireless transmission near your position. From the frequency, most likely an enemy data terminal. Check it out. We may be able to salvage some intel. Dobra. Okej, okay, misja VR była blokowana. No spoko. Dobra, wiem, że mogę, ale nie chcę teraz tego wykonywać. Nie wiem, czy w ogóle będę chciał to na nagraniach robić. No, zobaczymy. Dalej. Super. Oho, kadstenka. Czyli co teraz? Greeting, cyborg. Show yourself. Okay, I'm going to do it. Let's go. Aż się prosi. O hej! And you are. I am IF prototype LQ 84I. IF prototype. Interface prototype. All autonomous UGs feature high-level onboard artificial intelligence. An additional prototype interface enables verbal communication. I possess an intellect far beyond human reckoning. You don't say. Okay then, what's the meaning of life? Why are we here? <laughs> Aha! Ciekawie złapane. Jeszcze mu to odrzuć. Pretty simple thinking for such a mighty intellect. I may analyze orders, but I may not disobey them. Should I disobey a direct order, my memory would be wiped. I must destroy you. What good is an intellect if you can't use it? Your taunting is pointless. Exterminate! Nie wiem, czy można zaś prowokację z więcej nieoczywistości. Co? Boss? Oczywiście. Fate Blade Wood. No, mogę wreszcie atakować. What? A dobra, rozpustę się na tak, okej. Okay. Bardziej myślałem, że jak się błyszczy na złoto, to nie mogę kontrolować. Jezu, mogę jakoś naprawdę dać mi oznaczyć tego przeciwniku, bo było takie proste. W tych walkach. Błyszczy na... Błyszczy. 
Con mi trafi. Nie zdążyłem użyć na pastę. Mogę to pominąć? Co ja mam zrobić, żeby go zapanować? Dobra. Już to. Nie wiem, że jak ja mam go oznaczyć. Nie wiem, czy się nie da, naprawdę. No, gać fucking damage! Okej, nie było powalne. Też? No jak nie blokowalne? To mi niewiele robię. Coś, co się stało właśnie? Jezu, kto wpadł na to, żeby oznaczali mu pod prawym bumperem? Lmao? Super, a gdzie to mu nie pi? Gdzie? I will obliterate your consciousness. Jesus! How can I go back? How can są, jest osiągnięcie, żeby pokonać każdego bossa bez damage'a. Przecież go przeskoczyłem! Mało. Dupę sobie zaś te kombinacje. Zajebiście. Dobra, czekam jeszcze raz. Gdzie jest? Nie tu. Też nie tu. Ok, pod lewym. Mam rakietnicę w sumie, bo nie będzie Wow, zajebisty żółt, naprawdę. To chyba było to skontrolowane, mi się wydaje. Zaświecił się, okej. Okay. Słowo. 
no. Czerwono proszę. Mało. Ej, bo mi zawsze się zjebie normalnie. Ej, nie mam w ogóle jeszcze tyle, co nie zadałem! Świetnie, 2,5%. Dobra, dobra, Dobrze, musimy, musimy. Wiesz, i tak Okay, dwóch zabiłem. Ale to się wyleczyłem za Rana, żeby się... Jeszcze czego? A dobra, nie, okej, okay, nie dramaj się, nie ma sobie. A złoto się nie da sobie. Look! God fucking damn you! Zajebiście, to się tak idealnie robi. No szybko, jasne cholery! Wiecie co skacze, skacze se jak w takim przełomie... Jak wilk se skacze, to by głowie mnie odpiłe.
What would an AI know about freedom? C. O, nie spodziewałem się w sumie niewiele. Spodziewałem się niższej oceny tego naprawdę. Dobra, Jezu, 45 minut już mam. To zleciało. Tam muszę iść. Dziękować. Skłonię. Really? Super, ten tylko mi odleci spoza naszych cięcia. Haha, okej. Okay. Czyli powiedzcie, że to jest kolejny boss, nie? No biegiem, stary! I u nas trochę się szykuje na takiego tego. Miał być drugi boss. Mhm, mm oczywiście. O, co mamy? Dwa namierzające strzały. Hej, okay, ale tutaj mało wytrzymałem. Ej, no miałem opcję! Okej, okay, znowu się wskoczę w porę, tak nie mogę z tego. Lecimy, 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 pniemy, ciachamy na malu tęgi rołeczki. 237. To też, przepraszam. Okej, okay, to jest ten A, dobra. Okay, ale to jest myślę dobry moment na zakończenie tego odcinka, bo ma już on prawie 50 minut. A i tak większość z niego zajęła tak naprawdę gadka z ludźmi. A sobie właśnie na to robię. Zobaczmy, czy mam coś nowego do powiedzenia. Most impressive, Raiden. Yeah, gonna have to do a lot more than float around like that to beat me. <laughs> indeed, indeed. So, now you are in Sukumi Old Town. Pretty much still the same as after war in 1990s. Looks like it. Make your way through town. You'll need to pass through an abandoned hotel to reach the hill. The hotel is serving as headquarters for cyborg forces patrolling the new city. <laughs> Sounds like a blast. And why exactly am I walking right into enemy HQ? Well, it's not a stealth mission, eh? Striking them will weaken their entire forces. Besides, we don't want them stabbing you in the back. All right. At least I'll get to top off my electrolytes. <laughs> This is the spirit. Trust me, it is easier than knocking on refinery front gate. Dobra, niech wam pokażę takie walce, bo do mieli coś nowego do powiedzenia, ale jak mówiłem, ta, mi znaczy, ta misja jeszcze nie kończy, bo wydaje mi się, że jedna ta misja to jest cały rozdział tego tak, o tym chyba cywilizowania. Cały taki rozdział to jest ta misja, którą my właśnie mamy 
wykonać, ale w tym odcinku ode mnie póki co to jest tyle. Tak więc do usłyszenia i do zobaczenia w następnym materiale. Cześć!